What's you guys got another video here for you. Microsoft is now forcing Windows updates on you. It turns out that Microsoft released Windows 11 23 H2 last year, but many users are still running 22 H2. It could be a personal choice for a lot of people because they don't want to upgrade. Or maybe they don't want all of the uh, AI that Microsoft have injected into the 23H2, and that's also coming for 24H2. So whatever reason it is, Microsoft have now made the decision to now force you onto 23H2. What they are going to be doing is basically rolling out automatically installed updates for 23H2 for everyone that is on 22H2. So it seems they're forcing you to now upgrade to 23H2, even though the end of support for 22H2 is not until October 8th, 2024. So let's talk about this topic in more detail after a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Head over to CD Key Sales and create yourself an account. Once you've done that, you'll be able to purchase Windows 11 Pro. All you need to do is click on the submit and enter my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order, and you will get a 30% discount on all of your purchases on CD Key Sales. Once you've done that, you can then submit your order and use PayPal to pay for your purchase. Once you receive your key, you can then activate your version of Windows just like this in the activation center of Windows. So back to the topic of Microsoft is now auto updating eligible Windows 11 PCs to version 23 H2. Tech Power Up have made a post about it. There's quite a bit of information here. I'll leave all the links in the video description for you. Also, we have from Tom's Hardware uh, some information. If you look on Microsoft's website here, you will see the end of life for 22H2, and it's not until October 8th, 2024. So they still have a bit of time, but Microsoft, in their infinite wisdom, have decided to now force people to update until the 23H2 to get you on the latest platform uh, as quick as possible. So they're going to be rolling out these updates for people. So you may wake up one morning and find out that you're now on 23H2, and it's been forced on you by Microsoft. If you check Microsoft's website here, it does actually state all of the information right here. I'll leave all the links in the video description. It says Windows 11 version 23 H2, also known as Windows 11 2023 update is now entering a new rollout phase. We are starting to update eligible Windows 11 devices automatically to version 23 H2. So Microsoft have now clarified that they are now forcing this update on people and yes, it is coming to end of life in October 8th, 2024, but they shouldn't be forcing it on people. They should obviously give you a choice whether you want to roll this update or not. It shouldn't be automatic where they're forcing it on you and uh, you wake up one morning and you're suddenly on version uh, 23 H2. So what does this mean for you? Well, it means that Microsoft have took your personal choice away from you and they are now forcing you to update to 23 H2. Whether you still want to keep 22H2 up until October 8th, 2024, that's not going to be the case. This is going to be rolled out to you and installed on your system automatically. And this can happen within the next few months. People will find that their system will automatically be uh, installed with 23H2. I think this is all to prepare the systems for the next release, which is coming very soon, which is 24H2, which is going to be full of AI. Same as 23H2, there's a lot of AI in there as well. And this is to get you prepared for their new versions of Windows that they are pushing out now. So what if you don't want 23H2 and you want to stay on 22H2? Well, that's your choice. And the way you can do that is by blocking feature updates. And this way it will stop feature updates from coming down onto your system. 23H2 is a feature update. And uh, you can just block feature updates and accept only security updates. You can do that in group policy and you can do that via the registry. And there's a bunch of other ways you can do it as well. So that is literally what you can do. You can stop it until you're ready to accept 23H2. Uh, you are probably going to need 23H2 to upgrade to 24H2. I'm not sure you'll be able to skip from, uh, you know, from 22H2 straight to 24 H2. I don't think that will work. It could cause problems. I'm not 100% sure. I would have to do a bit more research on that. But other than that, 
that is all your options are. Other than that, you will be going on to 23H2 in the next uh, up and coming weeks or months. Microsoft will force this update on you. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. Just a quick short video for today. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I'd love to read your thoughts and comments in down there. I might not reply to them all, but I do read them all. Anyway, with that said, I shall catch you in the next video. Big shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.